Okay, so J Jude, we are here at the football championships, OACs. Um, I'm not sure where my stocking cap is, but I I'll, I'll be waiting for one in the mail. But, um, okay, 20 teams. Okay, you guys are making it happen here. I have not heard one coach say they are not coming back. Everybody loves it. Growth mindset, OEC. What do you think of the championship so far this year? I think it's excellent. We had some really good games uh, over three divisions of football, uh, same age level, but size school-wise, three divisions. And it's going real good. Keeping it fair, keeping them in the divisions, keeping it against schools. You don't have Olin Tangy playing Barnesville, right? Because right. that the, the communities aren't – they're not similar, right? right? They're very different. And it's just like they wouldn't play – they wouldn't play in a high school game, yeah, right? At the high school, they're going to be separated there, so they can do it here, too. Keeping it divisional like that. You know, you've got the divisional championships in wrestling, which we'll talk about later, but um, keeping it divisional and keeping it, keeping it fair. Yeah, yeah. We want, we want good competition, level of competition. You know, they have the kids can have some success, and you're not uh, one kid or one team's not beating up on another one. Okay, you and Jared, you really stacked the deck against me here. You, you had them build this world-class facility directly 10 minutes from your houses. So I got, I got to drive an hour and a half to get over here to do, do some coverage, but having this in your backyard. You know, OEC, you know, it's one of your brainchilds, right? The, the whole thing started in 98, 99, and yeah. a gym over here in Sandusky, <laughs> right? Yeah. Now we have a world-class facility in Sports Force right, by, you know, on the, right next to Cedar Point. They rent the land from Cedar Point. What's that like having that in your backyard? It's excellent. I mean, the last year was the first year we, we were uh, partnered with here at the Sports Force. It was a great experience here again. And now with the new facility, Cedar Point uh, Sports Center, We've been in contact with them already about uh, getting some events in there. So it's 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 rolling. OAC is going to keep rolling here, and you're going to you're going to sleep in your own bed as much as you can, aren't oh, you? Oh my goodness, you're not kidding. That's that's uh, one major uh, good thing about uh, being so close to home like that. You just don't have the hotel for this weekend, and yeah. All right, so you know you're you're born and raised here, right? Um, and you built this OAC out of Sandusky. Now it's all across the state. The wrestling has just morphed into not what I thought it would. It's crazy. Um, where do you see the future of this championship for football going? Obviously, I think this facility is always going to be able to house it. But where do you see? What's the vision? What's Jude Roth have for the vision for OAC football? Well, ideally, we'd like to be able to uh, build that 10 new team uh, division up and get some more teams there. And, uh, you know, and increase the teams with uh, cross the state participation, you know, probably bring in uh, another one or two more divisions in the, the 12 U's. So. so 12 U, you'd bring in more divisions, and 10 U, you'd really hit 10, 10 and under. You'd try and hit that division harder for growth, as right. far as growth right. and concentration, as far as marketing and everything else you can do is fields, officials, whatever else you guys yeah. can do to make that grow. Yeah, the biggest hurdle is uh, there's no uh, commonality across the state as far as when. I, a league starts and finishes and when can you have the champion some are done with their league uh events in late october and they're not going to wait around for two three weeks to play a, a championship game you know a state championship and vice versa some go some are playing their championships this weekend and can't get in, in it so that's that's the biggest hurdle trying to find a, a weekend for it common ground yeah so you might have to go a little earlier for 10 and you it sounds like yeah potentially and, right yeah. but if I know there's one thing I know about the Oppers, there's one thing I know about the Roths, which the families are merged. Um, you know, uh, you guys, you, you bide your time and you're very organized and you find answers and you find pro you know solutions to problems. There's no question about that, right? Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're pretty good at it. We try. We, we you try. Well, so I'm going to hold you to two years. There'll be 20 teams, 10 of you. I'm going to put it in there. We're going to keep it in the interview, all right? Uh, but, no, that's obviously the goal would yeah. be, you know, 10 teams, then 20 teams, yeah. right? the more teams you have, the le more level of competition is. You can divide them up. Bigger, bigger schools versus bigger, small versus small, and it just makes it all, all that much uh, more special for them. All right. You got some stuff to go out and do. I know you got some administrative things to do. You got anything else for me on this football championships? No, well, you do such a good job, and uh, we like what you're doing. Uh, the, the championships are, are going well, and uh, looking forward to a great day tomorrow as well. All right, Jude, keep grinding. We're going to talk a little bit of wrestling, so don't go too far, all right? All righty.